Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers, old and new. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel. Please continue to hit that like button, share my content, express positive feedback, please, and thank you. And I'm so appreciative of all of the positive feedback that I've gotten, especially about the last reading that I posted. I was transparent in that reading, and I noticed, I always notice whenever it's certain messages like that, the views aren't as high on those readings, but that's okay because I know those type of readings are for a set a certain sector of ears. You know, that's what I'm hearing. Like everybody ain't supposed to look at certain messages like they may look at other messages. But I'm just floored by the response, the feedback that I've received in that message where I was being transparent. And I thank you for the confirmation. I thank you for letting me know that I did not share my story, my testimony in vain, okay? So, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see what the message is at this time. Holy Spirit, I come to you on behalf of my collective, those people listening to the sound of my voice, Holy Spirit. We are very thankful for all the messages that you have provided us with thus far. But what is the message now, Holy Spirit? What is it that you would like for us to know? What type of insight and guidance do you have for me and my collective at this time, Holy Spirit? I'm including myself in the mix. What is it that you would like for us to know? Please and thank you. One more shuffle, you all. Messages from you through me at this time, Holy Spirit. I am just a messenger. What is the message, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit? What is the message here? Five of Cups and damn, the deck was upside down. So all I got to do is do like this, okay? We have Five of Cups. We're going to take it, well, I don't know which way it want to be. I feel like somebody want to be in regret, y'all. Like, to the outside world, they acting real smug. They're acting real nonchalant. They're acting like they could care less. But in reality, they are in the Five of Cups. That's what I'm getting here. Okay? What else, Holy Spirit? Three of Cups. What did I just say? So we're going to turn this Five of Cups back in reverse. Because I'm telling you, whoever this is that I'm picking up on, picking up on it heavy, out the gate. This person is putting on a face to the world like they could care less. Like they're happy. They're content. Everything is good. Okay? Out, been, probably been out partying and celebrating with people. They are really, truly putting on a brave face to the world. They're acting like they don't care. But whoever this is, they care. They're a water sign. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Seven of Cups. Three Cups out here so far. This is someone who's definitely confused about their emotions. They went from the Five of Cups in reverse to, th to the Three of Cups to the Seven of Cups. This is somebody who is emotionally confused, okay? They're, they're not sure how to feel because their emotions are all over the place. They are putting on a brave face to the world because they don't want the world to know how they truly feel. Okay, they are trying to create an illusion about their life, about their mentality, their mindset currently. Why, Holy Spirit? <clears throat> Damn, we got Queen of Cups. That bitch flew in reverse, too. I seen it. With the High Priestess. Queen of Cups with the High Priestess. Queen of Cups in reverse with the High Priestess at that. Okay. So this is someone who is very emotionally discombobulated, like I said. This is someone who 
I feel like what they've been doing behind the scenes has them in the Queen of Cups in reverse. That's what this high priestess is about. They're trying to hide their emotional instability. But the reason why they're emotionally emotionally unstable is because of the shit that they've been doing in the dark behind the scenes. This could be a Pisces. They definitely a water sign. But it's given a Pisces here with just the energy that's out here. I think the Three of Cups is a Piscean card as well. <clears throat> what has this Queen of Cups in reverse High Priestess been doing, Holy Spirit? Justice. Trying to balance the scales in her favor and waiting to see what the outcome would be. This Page of Pentacles card is giving a student, someone who probably dabbles in various metaphysical theories and techniques. Now I'm getting that to balance the scales in their favor. Whoever this queen of cups in reverse is. So what they've been messing around in is what is a effect in their emotional state. What they were messing around in was supposed to help justice go in their favor. But what they expected to happen has not happened here. And so they're still trying to put on a brave face to the world like it don't matter. Like it's all good. Like they ain't lost nothing. But in reality, this person... Is tripping. They losing their shit about whatever this was that they did something behind the scenes to make go in their favor. It did not go in their favor. Clarify, Holy Spirit. They did something to, ooh, devil right here. <clears throat> I'm telling you. Spell work is what is given to me. Two of wands, seven of swords, three of swords. So this queen of cups in reverse did something manipulative behind the scenes. You know, I'm picking up on spell work here to make something go in her favor. And she sat back and she waited to see if it was going to happen. But it didn't happen. I feel like this woman was trying to hurt somebody. That's what I'm getting here. She was trying to do something against somebody with the Seven of Swords. But who heartbroken? Huh? I'm telling you, she trying to act like everything all good now, whoever this is, but she is upset that whatever she tried to do did not take. And whoever she was trying to fuck with, they moved on to Karma Waters, unscathed. Whatever the destruction that she was trying to cause from them, this person, person moved on to Karma Waters away from it. <clears throat> Mm. Yo, I'm trying to tell you, that spell work is atrocious, child. Whatever she did, that's why she um, emotionally unstable. <clears throat> Clarify, Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, she is emotionally five of wands. This woman got all kind of internal chaos and conflict milling within her. Okay? She don't know how to handle her emotions. Coming out here is the Seven of Cups with the Queen of Cups in reverse with the High Priestess. And now the Five of Wands. This is definitely somebody, okay, who then played around in some spell trying to fuck up somebody else's life. And that shit then fucked their mind up. I'm telling you right now. And this person out here trying to act like they sane and they life is good and everything is all good. But this person is insane, okay? I'm picking it up. Nine of Cups. This woman was willing to do whatever she had to do to make her wishes come true. Now, I just want to know who this was that she was trying to damn enact justice upon. Okay? This, this desire and will to damn near do anything caused any level of chaos and conflict to make your wishes come true. That's crazy in itself. 
So you're, you're willing to sacrifice other people, places and things to get what you want and not in a good way. I ain't talking about sacrifice them as in leave them behind 10, 10. I'm talking about sacrifice as in end them. Whoever this queen of cups in reverse is, this woman would sacrifice other people to make her wishes come true. And that's why her ass is in the tower now. Because whoever this was, if she tried to get God this time, that shit didn't pan out like she thought it was. Whoever this was that she was trying to shut down, get justice on, fuck up, whatever she was trying to do. Okay? Because I'm picking up on all of that shit. This person is still standing. This person is actually off, you know, chilling somewhere. To be honest with you, that's what I'm getting from the Six of Swords. They ain't worried. They back is turned to the bullshit. Six of Swords to the Six of Wands, wherever they travel to, they had a victory. They triumphing over any and everything over there where they at, okay? They ain't in the Five of Wands, the Five of Cups in reverse, or the Queen of Cups in reverse. This person is stable. They're grounded, and they're having a victory in their life. Okay? And this Queen of Cups in reverse can see that. The Six of Wands is falling right up under the Page of Pentacles. She knows that this person ain't skipped a beat. And it ain't gonna skip a beat. That's what I'm hearing. I feel like this Queen of Cups in Reverse High Priestess knows that whatever she was trying to do to this person, she's no longer going to be able to do that. Like, that cycle of devilment is over with. Someone has gotten a message about the fact that they can no longer fuck with somebody else spiritually. Okay, this queen of cups, that's why her mind is fucked up. Y'all, I'm telling you, that's the message. You continue to play in spell work to manipulate people, places, and things to go in your favor. And your punishment is that your mind is scrambled. That you, you ain't got a good head on your shoulders no more. I'm telling you, whoever this is, because I'm picking up on the shit. They are mentally dehabilitated, mentally defragmented. They are putting on a face to the world like everything is all good, but this person is fucked up in the head. This person do need some mental health counseling because whatever magic they were playing around in, it has they ass fucked up in the head. I'm telling y'all, clarify Holy Spirit. You see what's out here. Ace of Pentacles. Whatever magic that they fuck with, whatever energy spell they did to try to enact justice on this Six of Swords. And what's crazy, y'all, this Six of Swords ain't even coming out here to pop out and show up as someone who should still be in concern. Someone who is still going to face some type of trouble trouble or adversity from this Queen of Cups in reverse. No, this person truly has been able to move on to calmer waters, and they won't be affected by this person anymore. And I'm telling you, whatever she, spell she used to try to enact justice on this person, that shit was very strong. It took a lot of alchemizing power and ability. This woman sacrificed her mental health to do this spell work. Because now she facing challenges. Okay? This, this seven of wands also talks about courage. She was very courageous to play around with, what, with whatever this spell was. This ace of pentacles signifies whatever alchemy she used. She felt like that was her golden opportunity. That that was going to do it. This is somebody I feel who has been using spell work for a long time to get their way. That's what this says here. High priestess to the justice, they do things behind the scenes to balance the scales in their favor. And then they wait and see what if their devilment worked here. This person been doing this, but whoever this last energy was, that they tried to do this Ace of Pentacles 
energy work on. That person got them in the seven of wands. This person is fighting for their mental health right now. We got the five of cups in reverse, three of swords with the seven of wands. They didn't think they was going to be in regret. 1515. They thought that this was going to work because I'm telling you, this has worked before. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Five of swords. It's worked before. They see somebody else. It's been plenty of people in the past who have been spiritually attacked by this queen of cups in reverse. Okay. I'm telling you right now. If they see anybody they don't fucking like. Or that they jealous and envious of. Look how she looking at them other two people. They get in gear. And they do this ace of pentacles. Energy harvesting. Spell shit. Whatever the fuck it is. And they enact justice on. Whoever they might be jealous and envious of. In the moment. They been doing this shit. Whoever the Six of Swords is, they was really hating on whoever this was. Why, Holy Spirit? They ain't like this motherfucker. For real, for real. But this the one that took them out the game, child. Chariot. They didn't like this person because this person, again, was moving forward and having success in their life. They had a plan. They were on a mission. And whoever the Six of Swords is, they obviously didn't have a victory, okay? And whoever this Queen of Cups in reverse is, they kept coming at them. That person could have Pisces or Cancer in their chart. They kept coming at this, whoever this Six of Swords is. Whoever this Six of Swords is, they would not let this person rest i'm telling you now nine of swords they kept coming at this person but that was where they fucked up at i'm telling you the six of swords is what caused this cycle of alchemy to end for this queen of cups in reverse but until this six of swords moved on to calmer waters until they Eight of Cups, wherever they were at, whatever they were doing, and went off and had a new start for themselves, that's only, that's when they won, okay? That's when they bossed up. Whoever this The Six of Swords is this Queen of Pentacles. But this Queen of Pentacles did suffer for a time under the hands of this Queen of Cups in reverse until she exited. She took her exit. Okay, I don't know what she exited from. It could be a community. It could have been a third-party situationship. Who knows? But when this Six of Swords left whatever, whatever it was behind, that's when the tower hit for this Queen of Cups in reverse because she was no longer able to affect this person anymore, and she has continued to try, I'm hearing, since this person has moved on to calm waters. This Queen of Cups in reverse has still been trying to do this. This is also why her mind is messed up. Because she is, I don't know, it's like you wanted the person to go away, they went away, but you're still bothering them. That's what the universe is saying. That person really shouldn't have had to go away anyway. I'm hearing, I don't, the universe is saying this Queen of Pentacles shouldn't have had to go off and start her life elsewhere, but we saw something bigger and better for her off over there, away from crazy right here. And that's what she's been awarded. This woman is having a victory. This woman in the Six of Wands, the damn Ace of Wands, the Chariot, and the Queen of Pentacles. She is not suffering. She is no, no longer in the Nine of Swords. And I do feel like it's because she left a connection behind. This woman could have relocated as well, but I'm hearing that she left a connection behind because she realized that that connection was dehabilitating her, was causing instability in her life, causing her to have to really finagle and juggle some shit that she probably shouldn't have to shouldn't have been finagling with 
okay? Because that's what people have to recognize. When your life start acting up, when you get around certain energies, it's because that energy don't mean you no good. And your life is responding to that person's energy in a negative way. I'm telling you, you got to watch the company you keep. So it's something about the company that this Queen of Pentacles was keeping. Look, what, look, I can't even get it. I was about to ask, but the Holy Spirit said, look, look, I'm going to just show you. She decided to stop dealing with an emperor, but this emperor was her ideal love choice. And it looks like this was her divine counterpart. But her, her deciding to stop dealing with this emperor cut this spiritual warfare, okay? So I'm not, I'm going to need some clarity on that, Holy Spirit, because it do look like this is her divine counterpart, Holy Spirit. So why would stopping, why would her cutting contact from her divine counterpart make her life better? We need to understand. Because that's what happened. This woman stopped messing with this emperor energy. And when she stopped messing with this emperor energy, this queen of cups could not attack her anymore. But she kept trying to do it. And that's when her mental instability kicked in. Y'all hear that alarm? I'm trying to tell you. Spiritual confirmation. You know, the universe and whoever this queen of cups in reverse is, she really do need a 5150, y'all. I, I ain't playing. Eight of swords. Cut the deck on the eight of swords. Y'all think I'm playing. I'm hearing that shit. Her, her mind has left the building. And it's because of all the spell work she kept doing on this queen of pentacles. Even after this queen of pentacles was no longer around, no longer involved with this emperor. This queen of cups in reverse must have wanted this emperor to herself. Something like that here. And she wanted this woman to get the hell on through. So this woman got the hell on through. But so, okay, why are you still messing with her? That's what the universe said. Now I'm telling you. That's why this queen of cups is going through what she going through. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. Damn, these cards smell good. Look what came out, y'all. Queen of Cups. I'm trying to tell you. This Queen of Cups is in the Nine of Swords now. She was trying to run this damn Queen of Pentacles crazy when she was in the picture. And everything that she was trying to put onto this, this Queen of Pentacles is on her ass now. Mentally. It's mentally deep. Look, Seven of Wands again. This woman is really fighting some mental health battles. So why did this Queen of Pentacles life get better after she stopped messing with who looks to be her twin flame? Holy Spirit, help me understand. Because y'all, her life did get better when she left this man alone. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Woo cha. That's why her life got better. Because even if he is her twin flame, like I tell people all the time, we got free will. You can't make nobody do what the fuck you want them to do. They gonna do what they want to do. This man didn't want to be in this divine union. He chose to deal with this queen of cups. And he left his queen of pentacles in the three of swords. Five of swords. With the Four of Cups. Now let me tell you what this Five of Swords with the Four of Cups is about. This is that Queen of Cups again. She did not want this Emperor and this Queen of Pentacles to be together. She did not want them to have this Ace of Cups. Now, I'm telling you. So her way, because she wanted this Page of Cups. She got a page of cups with this emperor, but we all know a ace of cups don't trump. Excuse me, a page of cups don't trump no ace of cups, okay? 
So she had to do some type of spiritual manipulation to make things harder for this woman so that she would just give up. Okay. Five of swords, pointless victory. It looks like this emperor had already chose to be in a third party situation with this queen of cups. He, he was already messing with both of these women. Okay. But this queen of cups wanted to take it a step further. And she wanted to make sure that this man did not accept any love from this queen of pentacles. Cause baby, they got an ace of cups. I'm telling you, these are twin flames here. I'm not picking up that this emperor understood and accepted the assignment though. That's why this woman's life was blessed after she left this man behind and left him alone because he was sleeping with her enemy. He was sleeping with his twin flames enemy. Okay. That's just period. So her judgment to not focus on this twin flame and their potential union is what made her life better because her potential twin flame was not on her team. He was on the team of her adversary. He was on the team of the person who was attacking her spiritually behind the scenes. So of course God is going to bless her life. Look at what she having to put up with. And I'm talking about whoever this is, this person is blessed. But look at what was going on behind the scenes. Okay. So this, that fact is hidden from this queen of cups in reverse. She don't understand why this woman is having a victory after everything that she didn't did to cause strife in her life. But that's going to be hidden from her because she not tapped in with the most high and with the universe like she thinks she is. She tapped in with something else, the devil, okay? It came out here. I ain't talking out the side of my neck. It came out here. That's who she tapped in with. That's why she can't understand why this queen of pentacles is still having a victory despite everything that she's tried to do to stop her, okay? I'm telling you, this one judgment with the four of swords, with the ten of swords, this queen of cups is no longer able to spiritually attack this queen of pentacles. That shit done. That's, that's over with, okay? Judgment with the ten of swords, that's what this queen of cups in reverse is facing. I'm telling you, this woman is not well. She not well. She needs to rest and recover. Somewhere in a psych ward. And I'm telling you right now what I'm picking up on. But that that's her karma. For constantly sending some type of alchemy towards this Queen of Pentacles to have her in a dire state. The Nine of Swords talks about someone who has anxiety issues, who has panic attacks, who's scared, worried, frightened sad, hurt, broken. That's, that's what she wanted this woman to be. And that is what she's ex currently experiencing mentally. Is this emperor still with this queen of cups in reverse Holy spirit? Knight of swords. He's still taking action with this woman. Clarify Holy spirit. Death. Well, he was taking action with this woman, Holy Spirit says, but he's not anymore. That has ended here. Stevie Wonder just said, maybe someday you'll see my face among the crowd. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Four of Pentacles. This emperor has withdrawn from this queen of cups in reverse. Hell, he might have experienced some of this mental instability as of late that I'm picking up on from her. And it's caused him to withdraw from her. This man has ended whatever action he was taking with this 
Queen of Cups because I feel like, I, I was about to say, I feel like, I feel like he realized that this woman was causing destruction of some kind. I don't know if he realizes that she was trying to cause issues for his twin flame. Okay. I'm not sure. Clarify Holy Spirit. But he knows that this woman was not right. Nine of Swords. He may have discovered. Either he didn't discover that, the, that this Queen of Cups in Reverse was causing his Queen of Pentacles to be in the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, shit. Huh. I'm trying to tell you what this Queen of Cups in Reverse was trying to do against this woman. It may have worked at first, but what she did was put that woman in a place where she could be more independent, more prosperous, more successful. That's what she did now. That's why that came out like that when I just said that. Because that's what this is what she was trying to do to this woman. She was trying to have this woman crazy and fucked up, y'all. And now her ass is crazy and fucked up. And he know it. And I do feel like this emperor knows what this queen of cups in reverse was trying to do against his twin flame. He know. And if he don't know what he's experiencing with this queen of cups in reverse is enough for him to exit stage left. Cause that's what he didn't did. Look, six of cups on the bottom. Now this man want to come in and reconnect with his twin flame, but we cannot forget we cannot acknowledge that this queen of pentacles life did in fact get better when she left this man alone okay so holy spirit does this emperor have good intentions for this queen of pentacles because just like this queen of cups in reverse is watching her ass at a distance so is this emperor he noticed Queen of Pentacles then bossed up since she left his ass alone. And that's made her even more attractive. But does he have true intentions? Is his intentions good, good for this Queen of Pentacles Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Child, that's why I said that. That's why I said that. That's why her life got better after she left this man alone because he was sleeping with her enemy. I do feel like this emperor knew that this queen of cups in reverse was doing shit against this queen of pentacles when she was around, when he was messing with both of them simultaneously. Cause he don't mess. He don't mess. You can't mess with a divine feminine. He used to mess with this queen of pentacles, but she ain't that woman anymore. And he can't mess with her anymore. Okay. This man, he coming out as an emperor, emperor twin flame, energy to show us the potential of who he could have been who he was supposed to be in her life but he chose another route he chose this queen of cups in reverse and if this queen of pentacles returns and reconnects with this emperor her ass gonna be in the five of pentacles all of that abundance all of that fortune everything that she's acquired and amassed since she cut this man off she finna lose all that shit. And again, I don't see where she gaining any wealth or love in return. A five of pentacles couple is a fucked up, broke down, low vibrational ass couple. You know how you see those couples that be on the side of the road begging for money? Cause see, I'm very, I, God leads me to who I need to donate to. Cause I do give certain energies money when I pick up. On that earth angel, true, like, okay, one, I don't know why this is coming out, but this must be important. Somebody must, I feel like this queen of pentacles must be charitable. I'm getting that. But let me tell you this. One day I seen a, a homeless man, and I'm talking about he was being so nice and respectful, calling, saying, ma'am, you know, is there anything you can do for me? He was not. You could tell he was real humble with it, and that maybe he had been someone who was stable in his life before maybe like a vet or something because he had a dog like a service dog and i'm telling you this man ain't have shit but he was taking care of that dog 
And baby, I made sure I gave him some money, a good bit too, okay? Because I watched people disrespect this man and everything. And he continued, his head was bowed a little bit, but he continued to maintain his composure. You know, you could just tell that this wasn't your average homeless situation, okay? But with this Five of Pentacles here, this card, when I looked at this card, it reminded me of those other couples that I be seeing on the side of the roads at the lights and shit. They look perfectly healthy. Both of these people, they might have... And then the clothes they be having on, child, they be having on better damn clothes than me. I hear begging. But if where I live at, this city, you could clean up probably if you stood on the damn, at a stoplight for about... Eight hours, your ass probably could make more than you would have made going to work somewhere. But you ain't finna get no motherfucking money out of me because both of y'all is look like y'all perfectly capable of going down to one of these temp agencies, if nothing else, and getting you a damn job, okay? And I got all of that <laughs> from this because I'm telling you, that's going to be this queen of pentacles if she hook up with this emperor. That's just what it is. So if you want to be in love and lust, because this man ain't going to be faithful to this queen of pentacles. He wasn't before. Ace of swords. And the Holy Spirit say that's the truth. This man ain't going to be faithful to this woman, even if he reconnect with her. Why, why return to low vibrational bullshit? Come on now. When God didn't bless you with so much better. Is this Queen of Pentacles going to meet a new divine counterpart, Holy Spirit? King of Cups. And I'm dropping the mic. I'm King of Wands, King of Cups, King of Wands. Oh, yes, yeah, she is. Baby, it looked like to me, this star got options. Okay. This Queen of Pentacles got options. So why would she return to someone who was sleeping with her enemy, y'all? Do that make sense? No, it don't. And he gonna learn when he attempt to reconnect with her too that she ain't one of them. Because this man don't have no intentions on doing right by her anyway. And this is why God is giving this Queen of Pentacles various options that she can have faith and hope in. And take positive action with. Okay. I'm dropping the mic. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward. But always remember y'all. If it doesn't apply. Please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.